content po ng vlog ko for today. So, nag-iisip po talaga ako kung ano po yung iba vlog ko. So, naisip ko. So, mahilig nga rin pala ako sa pageantry. So, Good day mga kabeshis! Welcome to my YouTube channel! So, uh, panibagong araw na naman po na pakikipagbalitaktakan sa inyo guys. So mga kabeshis, so but before that, uh, let me thank you all guys for having finally reached the 200 subscribers. So thank you so much to all of you mga kabeshis. Sa lahat ng mga nag-subscribe sa akin, sa lahat ng mga nag-e-effort, mag-fuse ng lahat ng mga videos ko. So thank you so much to all of you guys. So, yun. So, stay permanent guys. So, dito lang po kayo sa aking YouTube channel. So, content po ng vlog ko for today. So, nag-iisip po talaga ako kung ano po yung iba vlog ko. So, naisip ko. So, mahilig nga rin pala ako sa pageantry. So, yun. So, welcome to the world of pageantry guys. So, uh, we are about to talk sa uh, about Miss Universe pageant. Okay, pag-uusapan po natin ang naging performance po ng Philippines sa Miss Universe pageant for the past decade. So, syempre from 2010 to 2019. So, uh, sabi nga sa ibang social media accounts sa lahat ng mga um, uh, websites uh, Philippines is the country of the year and country to beat sa Miss Universe pageant so syempre for the past 10 years naging maganda po ang performance po ng ating bansa sa Miss Universe pageant so 10 years in a row na po tayo nakakapasok sa top 20 so congratulations to all of the women who made that possible at yun na nga, for the past decade, nakapag-produce po tayo ng two Miss Universe title, uh, four runners-up, at saka three semi-finalist positions sa Miss Universe pageant. So, congratulations, Philippines, for raising our flag and to all of the ladies na nag-represent po sa ating bansa. So, for today's video vlog, pag-uusapan po natin kung sino-sino yung mga naging representative po ng ating bansa sa Miss Universe pageant from 2010 to 2019. Okay, bumalik po tayo sa 2010. The girl who started it all is Maria Venus Ra, a 22 years old from Bicol region. So, she is the one na nag-represent nag po sa ating bansa at siya po ang nagbalik ng ating drop sa Miss Universe from the, uh, from the past decade, from 1999 to 2009. Wala po tayong placement sa Miss Universe pageant. So, we are so thankful to Maria Venus Ra from the Philippines because she got back Philippines on the Miss Universe stage. So, yes, she is the fourth, uh, fourth runner-up that time and nag-trending din po siya sa kanyang mga salitang major, major that time. So, pero, uh, thank you so much Maria Venus Ra for representing the Philippines and for bringing back Philippines on the world stage. Uh, even though hindi ka nanalo, fourth runner-up finish is a big achievement to the Philippines. Okay, from 2010, so the following year, it's been a successful year again for the Philippines kasi bumalik na naman po tayo sa top 5 nakapasok po siya tayo sa top 5 ng Miss Universe pageant through Shamsi Hirea Supsup she is from General Santos City so, and she is 25 years old that time so 9 years ago naging uh, 34 years old na po siya ngayon and I am so proud kasi she is the new national director so, director of the Philippines sa Miss Universe pageant so uh, meron na pong bagong franchise po ang uh, Miss Universe pageant dito sa Pilipinas which is Miss Universe Philippines and first year po yan nagaganapin dito sa ating bansa and after 50 years po sa binibining Pilipinas nalipat na po sa Miss Universe Philippines ang bagong franchise po Philippines through our national director Shamsi Supsup Lee so she is happily married right now and she is 34 years old right now so uh, I'm so happy na siya ang naging national director po ng bago Miss Universe Philippines at siya po ang mag empower at mag sa mga bago Pilipinas na mga mag-represent po sa ating bansa for the future sa Miss Universe pageant. So, congratulations to you Miss Shamsi and she is placed as third runner-up in the 2011 Miss Universe that was held in Brazil. At ito na nga for the following year ng Miss Universe pageant, we almost got the title. So, yun, malapit natin mapanalunan yung Miss Universe title that time through Janine Tugonon and she plays as first runner-up during the 24 Miss Universe pageant so lahat ng mga Filipino there are very very disappointed sa result kasi uh, they think that uh, the result was a home-based result kasi uh, ginanap siya sa, Miss, uh, ano, sa USA so it is a hometown decision and lahat ng mga judges that time was a American decency so 
Um, ako naman, uh, hindi ako nag-iisip ng luto or something like that. Pero, syempre, a lot of my Filipino countrymen are uh, thinking the same way. So, nag, nag, uh, nag-iisip sila na niluto nila yung, niluto yung laban. So, ako naman, parehas naman sila nagbigay ng performance. Pero, that time, uh, it is clear that Janine Tugonan was the winner of the Miss Universe title. From the introduction hanggang sa question and answer portion, siya po talaga ang nagbigay ng best answer that night. So, ako po talaga, I'm, I was rooting for the Miss Philippines to win Miss Universe 2012 title. Pero hindi siya nangyari. USA got the title, pero I'm happy for the result. Top 2 is a great achievement again for the Philippines for the third consecutive year na papasok po tayo sa top 5. And the 2013 Miss Universe edition that was held in Moscow, Russia last November 8, 2013. So, uh, ang ating kinatawan po dyan ay si Ariel Arreda ng Laguna. So, siya po yung nag-represent sa ating bansa. And she gave a stellar performance and very elegant po siya sa kanyang evening gown. At the same time, naging... Um, uh, elegant po siya sa lahat ng uh, parts ng competition. So, um, this is the fourth consecutive year nakapasok po tayo sa top 5 and she placed as fourth place during that night. So, congratulations to you, Ariella Arida and she is uh, doing well right now on the Kapamilya Station, especially isa siya sa mga news anchors ng showbiz sa Umagang Kay Ganda. So, congratulations to you, Ariella Arida and you're so one of the iconic Miss Universe Philippines for the past 10 years. And the 2014 Miss Universe edition that was held in Miami, Florida. At this is the first time na nag-skip po ng year ang Miss Universe pageant. So, hindi po siya uh, ginawa during the 2014 year. Uh, sa halip ay ginawa po siya during the 2015. So, January po siya ginanap sa Miami, Florida. At ang kinatawan po natin dyan ay si Mary Jean Lastimosa na third time na sumali sa Binibining Pilipina. So, she is uh, one of the trending contestants during the Miss Universe competition for the past 10 years. Bakit? Kasi yung national costume niya at yung naging performance niya sa swimsuit at evening gown is very very stunning. Pero yung evening gown niya hindi siya ganun kaganda. At yung evening gown po ang nagdala sa kanya. At kinain po siya ng evening gown. For my opinion lang. Kasi napanood ko po yung edition na yun ng Miss Universe competition. And luckily, unluckily for the Philippines, hindi po tayo nakapasok sa top 5. So first time natin hindi nakapasok sa top 5. Pero for the five for the 5th consecutive year, nakapasok po tayo sa top 15 during that year. So congratulations again for the Philippines for the 5th consecutive time na nakapasok tayo sa Miss Universe pageant. Okay? At ito na nga ang pinaka-trending sa lahat ng crowning moment ng Miss Universe competition. I never thought na mangyayari po ito sa isang beauty pageant na kagaya nito. Ito po ay isang prestigyosong pageant na hindi lang mang siya ordinaryong pageant na ginaganap internationally. So this is the first time na uh, nawala na rin po ang ownership ng Miss Universe uh, comp, uh, ng Miss Universe organization kay Donald Trump na ilipin siya sa IMG uh, Productions and uh, Miss Paula Schubert is the new president of that year, so 2015. So, ito po ang pinaka-trending sa lahat ng Miss Universe budget. Why? Kasi, this is the most awkward TV live um, event na nangyari po talaga internationally. This uh, competition was held in Las Vegas, Nevada, and um, uh, this was uh, um, Christmas, uh, I, I, I think Christmas month. So, yeah, isa po talaga ako sa mga viewers dito na pina, uh, sinubaybayan ko po talaga ito from the beginning up to the end and from the moment na tinawag po talaga si Miss Colombia as Miss uh, Universe uh, 2015 so I knew na mali na po talaga yung may nangyayari po talaga mali so kasi yung camera pinokus po siya kay Miss Philippines after Steve Harvey announced that Miss Colombia got the title ayun Dinawi kagad ni Paulina Vega yung uh, corona after uh, Steve Harvey realized his mistake. So this is the first year ever that Steve Harvey, the host of Family Feud, hosts the competition. That's why siguro maraming nangyaring anomalya during that year. Pero Steve Harvey gave, her, he gave his best as a uh, host during that night. And this is a big achievement for the Philippines kasi after 42 years, we are back. Nanalo po tayo. And we got the title, the DIC crown of Miss Universe. So, congratulations to you. Ang kinatawan po natin dan is Pia Alonso Words Back. So, she is one of the best Miss Universe during uh, the run of Miss Universe competition. Okay, after 22 years, so, ginanap kong muli ang Miss Universe competition sa Pilipinas. So, Ang representative po natin that time is si Maria Maxine Medina and 
uh, we are rooting for a back-to-back -back win that night pero hindi po siya nangyari but it is an honor for the Philippines again kasi nakapasok naman po tayo sa semi-finals and all the way to the finals nakapasok po tayo sa top 6 so binalik po ng Miss Universe organization ang uh, top 6 at uh, yun from top 6 naging top 3 so luckily for the Philippines nakapasok naman po tayo sa top 6 so that was a big achievement for the Philippines at isa pa dito po sa ating bansa ginanap ang Miss Universe so that was a big achievement and I think Pia Wurzbach has had a great time having her final walk in her home country and Miss France Avery Smith and all win the crown the DIC crown okay Okay, from the Philippines, bumalik po Miss Universe competition sa Las Vegas, Nevada during the 2017 Miss, Miss Universe edition. And ang kinatawan po natin that time is si Rachel Peters. So, Rachel Peters uh, made it again to the top 16. So, top 16 po during that time. And ang uh, selection po ng... Uh, selection po ng semi-finalist is na iba po that time kasi hinati po na Miss Universe Organization tatlo, sa tatlong region po uh, by continent so may, we had the Africa and Asia Pacific makasama po sila doon, the Americas and then the Europe so tiga apat po semi-finalist uh, doon sa tatlong continent na yon sa regions na yon and four wild card picks so luckily for the Philippines uh, nakapasok po tayo sa top 16 pero nasa wild card po tayo and we called first sa wild card and unfortunately for the Philippines, hindi po siya nakapag-Q&A portion kasi hindi po siya nakapasok sa top 5. Pero, top 10 is a big achievement again for the Philippines. Na-showcase naman niya yung kanyang um, galing sa pagrampa sa swimsuit at saka sa evening gown. And, hindi na yun kawalan sa ating bansa. Uh, anyways, this is the 7th year, or I, I think the 8th year na nakapasok po tayo sa top 16 po na Miss Universe. A big achievement pa rin po yan. And, congratulations Rachel Pierce for making it to the top 10. Okay, from Las Vegas, Nevada, mag-travel naman po tayo sa Asian country, the 2018 Miss Universe competition that was held in Bangkok, Thailand during December 16, 2018. At, is, uh, I have to say, this is one of the most strongest uh, edition ever and one of the best Miss Universe edition ever. Why? Kasi this batch is the most strongest batch ever. I think this is the most diverse, this is the most beautiful batch, most uh, smartest batch. So... I think, uh, yun, uh, marami po talaga dito mga sab sabas na to ang magagaling at magagandang contest. And of course, we are so honored that we claim the crown back for the Philippines. So, through the use of Catriona Magnayan Gray. So, Catriona Magnayan Gray is an Australian and Filipino native. And uh, she migrated here and her family here in the Philippines uh, on her teenage year so. We are so thankful to Catriona Gray for bringing the Philippines back again in the world stage. After two years, nakuha na naman po natin yung crown. And she, I think, I have to say, she is the most deserving winner ever that night. So, wala po talagang doubt na she will win the Miss Universe uh, title. Why? Because she is the most articulate contestant that night. Yun po yung pinaglalabanan that time. So, maraming magaganda, maraming elegant, maraming magagandang gowns and swimsuit that night. Pero the most articulate and most smartest women that night is indeed our very own Catriona Gray. So that's why she won the very uh, beautiful Mickey Motor crown. So I think for my own opinion, the Miss Universe crown, uh, pinakamaganda po is the Mickey Motor crown. So yun po yung pinakamaganda crown sa akin. So uh, di naman po sa sinasabi ko na pangit po yung mga past crowns po na Miss Universe. I think the Mickey Motor crown is one of the mess, one of the best Miss Universe crown ever. And I think Catriona Gray is one of the best Miss Universe ever. And I, hindi pa rin po ako makamboom on kasi I think siya pa rin po yung Miss Universe this year, uh, 2019, 2020 na po. And hindi pa rin ako makamboom on na tapos na yung kanyang reign as Miss Universe. So for me, siya pa rin talaga ang Miss Universe this year. So, yun. Congratulations Catriona Gray and God bless you on your journey. And the 2019, the very last year before the end of the decade of 2010 to 2019, is the most uh, trending Miss Universe ever. Why? Kasi nag-down viewers po na Miss Universe. In my opinion lang ha, na bumaba po talaga yung ratings ng Miss Universe. Why? Kasi this is, I think, the most, the worst Miss Universe staging ever. Uh, that was held in Atlanta, oh, Georgia. No. Uh, hindi ko naman sinasabi na Miss, uh, the United States of America is... Uh, hindi po ganun kaganda mag-host pero 
yung pag-host po ng uh, USA this year sa Georgia eh, hindi po talaga ganun kaganda. I think Gasini, yes, she is the representative of the Philippines that year. So the past month lang na ginanap yung Miss Universe. And I think hindi pa rin talaga ako makamove on sa naging resulta ng Miss Universe. And uh, noong una, nagda-doubt po talaga kung bakit hindi nakapasok si Gasini sa top 20. Uh, I think sa top 10. Oo, nakapasok po siya sa top 20 as wild card. Doon pa lang, hindi ko na talaga naisip na, ma, na ma, nanalo si Gazi kasi uh, wild card, ibig sabihin, um, hindi ka top choice ng organization at ng judges sa competition. And the uh, new way of selecting the semifinals at hindi, hindi po siya ganun kaganda. So, the three regions and then the wild card, hindi po talaga ako doon um, sumasang ayon. So, five from each region and five wild cards. So, luckily for the Philippines, nakapasok po sila, tayo sa top 20. So, pag-usapan natin si Gazi, bakit hindi siya nakapasok sa top 10? Kasi, I think uh, from the footage, the video footage na mga naki, nakita ko for the past uh, days, so nakita ko kung bakit. Kasi uh, being a Miss Universe for me is very confident uh, on overall package. So I think Gazini hindi po siya yung pinahanap na Miss Universe organization. Uh, I'm not saying that Gazini is not deserving to, for the title, pero um, kita kita naman po natin na yung top three are the strongest contestant of among all of those back and uh, I'm so happy that uh, the crown was back to South Africa. It is a sandwich victory for South Africa. I mean, I'm congratulating Zuzi Bini Tunzi as a new Miss Universe. So. And that's it sa mga avid fans po ng Miss Universe competition. Uh, I think sana uh, magkaroon po tayo ng maganda pang performance for the next decade. This is a new decade for the Philippines. So, uh, Sana makakita, makakita po tayo ng another P Awards back. Fiona Grego, Diaz, and Margarita Moran. Those are the four title holders of the Philippines in the Miss Universe competition. So, sana maging magandang performance natin for the next decade and all the years to come. So, that is it for today, mga kabeshi. So, see you po on my next vlog. So, bye-bye. See you soon.